Well, we're learning now that those supply chain issues could now impact your Valentine's Day. Floors telling us today that they're getting charged more for just about everything from the crop to delivery. ABC Action News reporter Stassi almost with what you can expect. We carry more unusual flowers, some bitty orchids, um, different varieties of roses. Scott Darhauer owns Apple Blossoms in Tampa, a small flower shop specializing in events. The prices are, are up high right now, and then we're going into Valentine's Day, so the prices are even higher. The Florida Trucking Association says almost 95% of all the country's flowers come from South America. Due to major supply chain backups, prices have doubled, even tripled for florists. They're all charging more because they feel like confusion. Fuel charges are up, you know, gas prices are up, all of that, and even our shipping, everything coming in shipping is getting charged surcharges. That's why sending your love with a sweet smelling bouquet this Valentine's is likely going to cost you too. Just know that you're going to pay a little bit more. You're going to get a wonderful product. It's going to be beautiful as always, but it's just going to cost a little bit more. While the potting shed plans to accept orders for pickup and delivery until the weekend of Valentine's, Darhauer says he can't do it this year. We decided this year that we're going to bypass Valentine's Day just due to the rose shortages um, and the costs. Um, also trying to get help. We can't find any help. It's just more to our advantage to bow out this year. Darhauer adds they will be open for day of cash and carry out bouquets, but like Potting Shed, you can expect prices to be at least 25% higher. Reporting in Tampa, I'm Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News.